White from YTEP, Barb Hamlet runs Squask. I am Barb Hamlet, principal of Valley View Secondary School, and I bring greetings from the Sagebrush Theater, a place of learning and creating and celebrating on the lands of the unceded territory of the Shoquapmik people. Today is one such day where learning will be celebrated, and I am proud to introduce you to Valley View's band and choir, who will be sharing with you a year's worth of creative work. The music concert may not seem out of the ordinary to many of you, but I want to acknowledge that like many things this year, these students encountered a number of unexpected challenges along the way. Their class was moved to the afternoon, which created transportation challenges for some, and all had to deal with extra long days. Public health restrictions dictated that music students needed to wear masks while performing. Their class had to be moved to a different location in the school, which, trust me, added some acoustic challenges. They also had to navigate a very public acknowledgement that singing in itself posed a health risk. You persevered in the face of all of those challenges. In fact, I would say that you survived more than just survived this, this hard year. I would actually say that you thrived within it. You've continued to grow in your musicianship, your creative problem solving, and collaborative teamwork. And I would argue that this learning experience has equipped you well for a really unpredictable world. Not to mention the fact that working together and creating something very beautiful that fills not only your heart, but the hearts of so many others is something that the world desperately needs today. It is with pride that I present to you Valley View's most excellent band and choir, Cook's Chatham. Welcome to our 2021 end of year virtual concert. First, I want to acknowledge that this concert is taking place on the traditional and unceded territory of Squatmook people. The piece that you just heard is of course Canada's national anthem. O Canada was originally commissioned by Lieutenant Governor of Quebec, Theodore Robitaille, for the St. John Baptist Day ceremony. The version we sang was arranged by da Diane Loomer. Today, the VSS Choir and Band will be presenting you with 17 diverse musical pieces for your enjoyment. We prepare some heartfelt pieces and some that might make you want to get up on your feet and feel the music. To get us started, the band will now be playing one of composer Ralph Vaughan Williams' most well-known pieces. First published for a military band as Folk Song Suite, and its premiere was given at Neller Hall on the 4th of July in 1923, conducted by the Lieutenant Hector Atkins. Today we will be performing Movement 3, March Folk Songs from Somerset, which is the most upbeat movement in this piece, for the melody that will catch your attention easily. We present to you English Folk Song Suite. Thank you. 
next song deals with true love, helping someone in your time of need, and learning from your mistakes. Coldplay's lead singer Chris Martin has never spoke directly about what inspired this song, but says, my father-in-law Bruce Paltrow brought this keyboard just before he died. No one plugged it in. I plugged it in, and there was this incredible sound I'd never heard before. Arranged by Adam Anders and Peter Astrom, this piece leaves room for many solo opportunities. The choir features a duet by Jordan and Shayla, followed by two solos by Grace and Levi. The song finishes with a duet sung by Emma and James. Let the lights guide you home with the choir's next song, Fix You.
try your best, but you don't succeed. When you get what you want, but not what you need. When you feel so tired, but you can't sleep. Stuck in reverse. The Excitable Sounds of Spain. This next song featuring the trumpet section is a very fast paced song and very fun to play. Playing this song reminds me of a bullfight. I can almost taste the dust in the air. Here is Song of the Matador arranged by Douglas Court. Thank you. 
Our next piece is a cheery tune with upbeat dance moves, taught to, which were taught to us by a talented student new to our choir in his first year of high school, Ian Young. Derived from Sutu and Zulu traditional songs and arranged by the choir of Praetoria Youth, um, featuring four distinct parts that flow all together to create our next piece, Quela Quela. German composer J.S. Bach in 1724 and transcribed by Alfred Ries, this next piece in is, is an expression of Bach's anticipation for death and heaven to come quickly and peacefully. This melancholy and expressive song is simple yet extravagant in its beautiful melody. Please enjoy Komm süßer Tod, or as you might know it, Come Sweet Death.
The next piece from Valley View's award-winning choir is a New Zealand folk song from the mid-19th century. The lyrics refers to the supply ships sent by the Weller Brothers to the whaling ship. This folk song gained popularity on TikTok as a sea shanty in early 2021 with many catchy remakes. This arrangement was made in an office with a pitch pipe app on a phone. Arranged by Miss Daniels, this is the Wellerman. There once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Billy O'Te. The winds blew hard, her bow dipped down. Blow me, bully boys, blow! Ha! Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Ha! She had not been two weeks from shore, when down on her a right whale call. The captain called all hands and swore, we take that whale in tow. Ha! Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Before the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came up and caught her. All hands to the side, hot food and fodder. We got down below. Ha! Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Sudden the well was green and the captain's mind was not on green. But he belonged to the Rowan's Queen. Still the ship in tow. Ha! Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. For forty days or even more, the line went slack then tight once more. The bolts were lost, there were only four, but still, still that well did go. Ha! Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. As far as I've heard, the fight's still on. The line's not cut and the whale's not gone. The wellerman makes his regular call to encourage the captain, crew, and all. Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. The next piece will be a compilation of three songs by one of the most popular female singers, Adele. Our piece, arranged by Michael Brown, includes three of her most famous songs, Rolling in the Deep, Set Fire to the Rain, and Someone Like You. So, without further ado, please enjoy listening to our band perform Adele in Concert. Thank you. 
This first song is by Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper and is considered, considered a strong and powerfully written song about the story of romance, mental illness, and the struggle of addiction. This piece is now an Oscar and Grammy award-winning hit, winning an Oscar for the best original song of 2019, having won the same category at the Golden Globes and Criti Critics' Choice Movie Awards. Our, our rendition of it features soloists Kayla, Jackson, Kyle, and Haley. So now, may we present Shallow. This next piece, arranged by Roger Emerson, was featured in the smash hit animated sequel, Frozen 2. 
During this scene, Elsa wanders around her castle in Arendelle while considering following a mysterious voice that is calling out to her. Powerful cerebral vocal lines ascend and weave in the strong and skillful arrangement with an ending climax for the ages. Listen closely for the repeated motif featured through into the unknown. piece, composed by David Barrett, is an exciting song that reminds many listeners of medieval times. The song starts off slowly, featuring a trumpet solely, but quickly moves into a bold allegro section with a very cool part played by our tenors, introducing of wizards and warriors.
This next song was written by a quartet of women named VIDH and was inspired by the stories of Sudanese basket weavers who expressed the pain and hope experienced by those in the famine in Sudan in the 1980s. This is a most unusual and fascinating song. Our version of this song was arranged by Matthew Culleton. Our soloists for this piece are Paloma and Jessica. Please enjoy Famine Song.
This next choir piece, arranged by Andy Beck and originally recorded by Philip Phillips, is performed by your tenors and basses and has some beautiful harmonies. Featured in this piece are solos from Alex, Zach, and James. Also featured are Kayla on the guitar and Emma on the cajon. Uh, they really bring this piece together. Please enjoy Gone, Gone, Gone. The next piece that we are showcasing was originally composed by Gustav Holtz and arranged by Johnny Vinson. While our arrangement has three snapshots, the initial version has a total of seven mo movements and an average length of about 50 minutes. Throughout the piece, you will be able to hear three distinct impressions presented. 
The first is titled Mars, the bringer of war. The second, Venus, the bringer of peace. And finally, Jupiter, the bringer of jollity. While it may seem that these movements are named after the Roman deities, Holst was instead writing about his interpretation of how people were affected by the change in astrology and horoscopes. This piece was also inspired by a piece that we played earlier, English Folk Song Suite by Ralph Vaughan Williams, who was good friends with Holst. With this in mind, please enjoy Sweet from the Planets.
Our next piece is from a hit Broadway musical about a pregnant waitress trying her last attempt at love after escaping an abusive marriage. Waitress was written based on the 2007 film and first hit Broadway in 2016. The song was composed by Sarah Bareilles and arranged by Mac Huff. It is performed by the sopranos and altos of the Valley View Choir and features four wonderful soloists, Lily Ann, Rachel Farrow, Leila Spies, and Grace Rolston. We hope you feel the emotion and power that has been woven into the music, which made most of us basses cry the first time we heard it. So grab a Kleenex. This is She Used to Be Mine. It's not simple to say And most days I don't recognize me At these shoes and this apron That place and its patrons Have taken more than I gave them Thank you. 
On September 4th in 1957 in Little Rock, Arkansas, Thelma Mothershed, Minnie Jean Brown, Ernest Green, Elizabeth Eckford, Terence Roberts, Melba Patillo Beals, Jefferson Thomas, Gloria Ray Karlmark, and Carlotta Walls Lanier went to school. This day and these nine people marked the beginning of the end for separate but equal, the process by which black students were segregated into schools separate from white students. These students faced a terrifying threat and the pressure of generations past and those to come as they approached the front of Little Rock Central High School that day. But they felt something else, something that burned brighter, hope. This complex and momentous day was difficult to capture for Randall D. Stanbridge. He, a white man born almost 19 years after the event, struggled to do the peace the justice it deserved. Then the world shifted after the US election of 2016. Randall saw the country go to shambles as friends turned on friends and issues that we thought were long resolved came back in new discourse. He had a new insight into the fear and the pain of the past, so he wove these emotions into the music. But he asked us to remember that hope is there, adding in hymn-like vocal solos sung today by Jackson Buck and Randall, uh, Jordan Device. So let us hear Randall D. Stanbridge and remember, we have more that connects us than separates us. We are always stronger together. We can always find the light. This is The Nine.
show me the light.
Our next song is an enduring classic of the North American music. This song, written by Wade Hemsworth back in 1994, is about being tormented by the black flies while working in the wilds of North Ontario. This song is wildly known from the animated short film by Christopher Hentworth and the National Film Board in 1991. It was later nominated for Best Animated Short Film of the 64th Academy Awards in 1992. Although Hem Hemsworth stated he wrote the song in Labrador, the song talks about the experiences he had while accompanying a hydroelectric power commission of Ontario. Crew surveying, su surveying the Little Abitee River. Please enjoy the buzz of the Blackfly song featuring our soloist, Levi Purvis. My name is Jamie Daniels and I am the music director at Valley View Secondary School. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for sharing our performance with us um, and I want to also thank you for sharing your kids with me. It's been a really difficult year, uh, obviously, with COVID and everything else and your kids have been so resilient. We have been practicing and practicing with nothing to perform for and that feels very tough and they keep coming. They're coming after school, they're coming before school, you know, because you drop them off and pick them up, but it's been, a long, it's been a long, hard year for all of us. So I just wanted to thank you again, parents and students and the administration at Valley View and everybody else for helping us put this together and for joining us to listen to the music tonight. 
A special thank you to my grade 12 students who this will be their final concert. Congratulations. Thank you. Our next piece is a march composed by Frederick Ricketts in 1930. Ricketts was a graduate of the Royal Military School of Music at a time when it was frowned upon for commissioned officers to be engaged in commercial activities. Ricketts, however, really wanted to compose, so he did so under a pseudonym of, uh, made up of his eldest son's first name, Kenneth, and his mother's maiden name of Alford. Writing as Kenneth Alford, he went on to become the British equivalent of John Philip Sousa, turning out such marches as Colonel Bogey, Eagle Squadron, and the march we are going to play for you now the standard of St. George. <laughs> 